Total Access. This is Elliot Holman. We're doing Total Access. And right now we're hanging out with Nadine Coyle. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. You're um, looking very, very handsome. Thank you. Yes, you are indeed. I'll take, I will take that from you. <laughs> I'm going to record that and have it as my ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've never had you on the show before, so welcome. It's good to be here. I have this nice bit of paper welcoming me, so thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. And that means that because you've never been on the show before, the last time I saw you must have been on stage at the final Girls Aloud tour. How scary is that? That is. How long ago was that? That was four years ago. It's when I first started working in radio, yeah. Four years ago. But doesn't it feel like a life... Does it, well, does it feel like a lifetime ago for you? Because you've kind of been up to so much. Yes, it does in some ways when you think about it. Um, but then in other ways, you're like, was that four years ago? And then you think about everything that happened. Yeah. Like, yeah, it was. Does it feel like a lifetime ago for you? Uh, yeah, lots happened, to be honest. And mm. I don't get to play much Girls Aloud anymore. So. Oh, I know, it's a shame. <laughs> but we'll just keep feeding you new music and you yeah. can play that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, exactly why you're here and, and we want to talk about the, the new track very soon. But I, I'm extremely jealous when I kind of look back to, to that time. I know that you were you were living back in L.A. for a long time. Mm-hmm. I'm so jealous of that because I've been to L.A. a couple of times and I can't imagine actually just waking up every day and just being there. That must be the most incredible thing in the world. It is. That's what I thought when I first went there. I was like, this is amazing. Can you imagine living here? And then when we lived there for year after year after year, it's kind of like, well, it never really gets cold. Mm. And where's the kind of the hard part of life? Everything's yeah. too easy. You get on your bike, you cycle, they buy fresh fruit and stuff. And it's like, this is weird. I'm not used to this. So I had to come back for a bit of normality. And then it's always, you can always go back. Haven't you got a pub as well in yes, Malibu? I did. No, it's on Sunset Beach. Oh, in, that's like the coolest thing ever. Uh-huh, in Orange County. Really, really cool. And my sister, he's there. She was um, the head bartender for a long time. This is That's so cool. Like, <laughs> my my one of my things in life is, like, I just want to own a pub because I think it'd just be so cool. Like mm-hmm. a pub or a bar. Yeah. And it's an Irish one, right? Yes, it's an Irish one. See, I thought that. I was like, that would be amazing. Oh, this is what I want to do. And I, and I wanted to be on the beach, too. I had this kind of vision and then we done it and it was a block from the beach and it was so stressful. Oh, was it? Oh, so, so stressful. You have to be careful what you wish for because sometimes you actually get it and then you're like, this is it. This is so hard. Shall (laughs) shall I not bother? No, unless you're really, really passionate about it. Yeah. Otherwise, just... I probably need some money first anyway. So, (laughs) (laughs) Um, At what point did you kind of, when when you were back here, um, did you think, right, it's it's time. I need to do some new music. Well, I was always over and back because for most of the time that I was on Geralt Aloud and doing most of the Mm. things, I was living in LA as well. But I was mostly here. Mm. But I was traveling over and back all the time. So I was back in LA and then moved to... Came back here. I was doing some stuff back here in the UK. And then it was, oh, when are we getting the flights back over to LA? Went, and I kept pushing it back and pushing it back. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I'll come out. It'll be next week. Oh, no, it'll be next month. And then it was like, actually, maybe I don't want to go back. Maybe I just want to stay here. And I did. And then just stayed. Just stayed then. And when it comes to, to the, the new music that you're doing now, is, th- is this stuff that you've kind of always wanted to do and, and have kind of put off for a bit? Or is, has it just taken this long? It's just taken this long. Okay. It's when you're doing studio stuff, which I love. Mm. I love doing studio stuff. And you can get into a, a way of working. And it's so close knit, the whole team that you're working with. Yeah. And then the suggestion is that you have to put the music out and you're almost horrified. Like, <gasps> what do you mean? <laughs> and then people were singing Go to Work and we've had it for so long. Yeah. And people are singing it and doing covers of it. I was thinking, how do they know the song? How, has it been leaked? You, you get paranoid. Yeah. And then it's out there and then you think, oh, I'm so glad it's out there now for people to hear it and just have fun. My thing with this track is that I I don't know what I expected from you. So I don't know like what this even means, but I was really surprised by the sound of it. And it's almost like, I feel like it could be a Duke Dumont record. Like it's got that big sound, hasn't it? Like mm-hmm. it, it could it could easily be like a big dance track. And I, I don't, didn't expect that from you. And I, I genuinely love this track. Like, Good. I genuinely really like it. Good. I'm glad that you do. Is this kind of, you, is that your sound now? Or are we going to get another surprise later down the line? I would say if this is a surprise, you'll get, you'll get more surprises. I like yeah. that. I really <laughs> like that. <laughs> I want to play the track right now. Okay. Is there anything else we need to know about this, this tune before we play it? Just the fact that it's amazing and it'll help you get up in the morning. <laughs> 